Good evening, everybody. I hope you're enjoying this session as well as the dinner that you just had. Uh, when Richard Hayes and Marcy Danowski asked me to be a reflector a couple of months ago, I had no idea what I was getting into. However, I want to thank them for including me in this wonderful meeting and by asking me to reflect on the day's proceedings and pushing me into being more attentive to what was being said. Uh, it was really important because I would not have uh, listened to as carefully as I did today. Um, and I offer my reflections rather diffidently because the reflections this morning were rich and those of my two other reflectors uh, kind of make me feel a little bit nervous about uh, what I'm about to say. And of course, uh, if uh, people disagree with what I have to say, they'll have an opportunity to say that, no, Sri, you got it wrong. Um, for one thing, uh, my education began this morning at the breakfast table when I learned what a transluminous was and what singularity meant. Both terms I had not heard before. Despite the fact that I have been a devoted Trekkie for the longest time, I had missed out on these nuances of science fiction or not encountered believers in these aspects of, dare I say, human development. I'm not sure how the newly, this newly acquired knowledge informs my reflections, but it, is, it meant that the day had begun in earnest. The morning session, meant to be a prelude to the breakout session, offered us a rich array of facts, opinions, and observations. For example, Rebecca Dresser, in describing her experience on the President's Council on Bioethics, provided us with an extensive list of do's and don'ts in developing policies and the bottom line suggested by her was to undertake due diligence of issues, avoid ridiculing those who have different viewpoints because there is much to be learned from engaging with them to build an alliance. And that I think was echoed by some of my other uh, reflectors as well. We heard uh, from other panelists, uh, other panelists describe uh, that uh, um, uh, what areas were poorly regulated and needed our attention, such as innovations in reproduction, reproductive technologies, because FDA regulates products and not processes. Likewise, off-label use of, re of products and their effectiveness is not monitored, and therefore there is no evidence that accumulates. J.D. Hansen, uh, suggested that we broaden our gaze to consider implications of a wide variety of technologies, but ultimately focus on a few things well, rather than uh, take on 200 different issues. I heard the words power and politics uttered in this session, which uh, at the morning session, uh, I reflect, had observed that these three terms, politics, power, and colonialism, had somehow not appeared in the conversation yesterday. And I kind of agreed with her on that. Um, and the session at the, in, in the last panel presentation with uh, Karen Mitchke, who, Mashke, who has urged us to critically challenge the notion of regulation to consider the different jurisdictions instead of focusing on, at federal level to focus at all le on different levels. Uh, her contention that oversight agencies do not function well and we need to understand the power dynamics of who supports, who funds, and what policies are needed requires groundwork. Rosario Isasi urged us to look at the past in order to develop policies such as reasons why we failed to enact an international document on human cloning. While we need to apply human rights framework, we also need to realize that self-regulation is not sufficient and we need to be clear on what should be permitted, what should be regulated, and what should be prohibited. While we have to consider the full range of genetic and reproductive technologies, we have to pick our battles and we need to see what has the moral, who has the moral authority and leadership in regulating medical and reproductive tourism and the global enterprise. The panel provided us with an excellent framework and uh, to move on to the breakout sessions. And I will not attempt to summarize what happened in the breakout sessions because uh, even though I attended the facilitators meeting, it really was too much to actually capture uh, in order to summarize it in some way. 
But it would be remiss of me if I did not mention two concerns because they were echoed not once but several times. And one of them was the question of uh, the, um, uh, uh, what happens to children who do not know uh, their genetic past. And that I thought was uh, emphasized quite forcefully through our, in different sessions. And the second was the one that Hedwa brought forward, and that is to really look at the, um, um, th that women is the primary location of art and surrogacy, and what we need to do about uh, really uh, prevent that exploitation uh, and to join the campaign against traffic trafficking of gametes and of surrogacy. I'm left with the impression that while most of us share a common, a common values, which is necessary in order to work together, we need to have a longer conversation about what the focus should be. I would like to push uh, for a work group, uh, a working group on um, the global uh, instruments because that I think is really essential to bridge that uh, gap between the national uh, and the international and uh, really begin to look at a wide variety of what is available to us in terms of, uh, uh, in order to regulate art surrogacy and trade in gametes, is to, we need to look at a wide variety of them, IP, um, uh, you know, uh, as well as uh, um, commercial uh, trade regimes. Because I think that perhaps if we don't do that, we would be missing out on some of the, what is available to us. So, um, if I have misrepresented anybody, please speak out because it's quite possible that I missed the nuances and I would very much like to be corrected on that. Thank you very much.